I'm gonna start the tutorials for programming in C++ for, well, as you may see, uh, it's Valve here, so the engine is source, obviously. Um, I think I'm gonna start this tutorial by uh, showing off how to make the actual mod that you're going to uh, well, obviously, if you want to code for source, you will have to make a mod first, or you could program for Half-Life, but I don't really recommend it, since, well, it would change a lot, content and stuff, you don't really want to break it. Um, and in serene solid and stuff like that, so I'm gonna cover how to make the mod, uh, that we're going to code for first and then we will go to actually making some entities uh, we're gonna start uh, with making logical entities since I don't really got into making model entities and brush entities yet I'm working on model entities but um, I kind of stopped because uh, it was getting a bit boring to watch through. All the text in these tutorials on uh, the Valve Developer Community page. And that's also the reason to uh, this tutorial. Um, I was sick and tired of uh, watching text tutorials since, well, there isn't any tutorial, tur uh, tur tur tutorial uh, on the internet that I have found that covers how to make uh, entities or actually code for source so let's just start by going to theme library um, yeah, uh, just go into uh, tools and let's just run the source SDK And there we go, it's open. And then you want to go into Source Engine 2007. And uh, done. And bother that. Then go to. Um, the reason why you don't want to go into 2009 is that they uh, Valve haven't actually fixed it yet. I can show it how that will uh, be. They might just upload, uh, well, update stuff later. But, um, yeah, so if you go in here, um, unable to run create a mod wizard. wizard. Uh, so that's the only thing you will get then. So go into Source Engine 2007 and just wait. There we go. And then just create a mod. And then, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you do here, uh, the source code only is, <laughs> as it says here, for advanced users only. Uh, then you would have to create the, all those uh, other things later. And uh, well, the folders with all the maps and materials and models and all that stuff, so... Just, I choose a uh, single player Half-Life to modify uh, this one, and then press next, and then since my C drive is full, <laughs> I will put it in the D drive, and uh, this is, uh, as it says, uh, the text over here, uh, this is just where the actual code be. You don't want this to be in the same folders uh, a as uh, your actual uh, mod content. So this is just for the code. So just put it somewhere uh, simple, like uh, the um, what should we call it? C plus plus no. Um, let's just call it. Half life, uh, half 
slice a lot. What am I trying? Half-Life mod. Uh, learn something. Okay, so... And then you would put that name, or the name of your uh, mod, into there. And uh, just press Next. And then this will create all the uh, source code. And... Uh, now let's just go into here and uh, check that out. Um, let's go into this. Oh, damn it. And let's just find what did we call it? <laughs> Half Half Life Mod Learn. So here we have all the, uh, those stuff. Uh, this is for well, the map files you make, the materials files you make before you put them into the actual mod content folder. Um, all, um, source. Uh, so this is where you would want to put um, SMD files and stuff like that. And here we have the actual source code stuff. Um, yeah, you have also some uh, batch files here that will do what they say, uh, mostly. Um, I think you might need to edit something of this. Uh, yeah, as you see here, uh, this will search for the source bay to source SDK base uh, 2007 uh, agile2 uh, dot exe, the actual Half-Life, um, because this is a Half-Life based mod, so this will run on the Half-Life uh, game, and but it will load content from this um, from this folder, so it will load the content from Half-Life uh, mod learn, and uh, yeah. Hello debug is for uh, if you have yeah I will go through this later so now we have a mod as it should say here yeah finish and then it would open this mod wizard complete and uh, yeah you can basically just check out what it says here have some useful stuff here the programming and mapping and modeling and yeah basically every everything uh, that is needed for um a mod so yeah let's just close that and uh, now you see we have the um this mod in here as well so we can map for it and yeah just go into everything and check um so uh let's see if i remember right yeah now we want to open I use uh, Microsoft Visual uh, C++ 2010 Express um, because I think that is the simplest one to use and then we want to go open project solution and then just go down to the half half Half-Life mod thing, and go into Source and Game Episodic uh, two th 2005 solution. Just open that, and then press Next and Next and press Finish. And then you just want to wait um, since it's opening and converting the project files. And there we go. And you want to rename this uh, solutions to server and uh, client. This will get rid of some uh, stupid errors uh, you will get while you are compiling. And yeah, this shows that, uh, as you see, this 
solution file have been converted and this one has been this uh, have been converted so in here you can see all the files that are used to actually make Half-Life so this is basically all the Half-Life source code um, yeah you have some client code and some uh, server code most of it you would want to put in the server your custom stuff uh, unless you are actually on a server if you're making a uh, what shall I call it? Um, if you're making a multiplayer, uh, it would be a lot uh, mixing between client and server stuff. But most of it, you would want to put in server uh, because well, client that is client side stuff and server is server side. So uh, you wouldn't want to, for example, make a car code in client. So the cloud. Only the person that is playing can actually see that it's a car there and that it's working for just him. For the other players it would just stand there and do nothing. Unless they go over and... Uh, yeah, <coughs> that was a bad explan explanation. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go into the properties and try to fix all of the stuff, uh, yeah, so here you see compiling, compiling under uh, Visual Studio uh, 2010 um, as you see here, Visual Studio 2010 is the best choice for source uh, that's why I use it, uh, you can use the free uh, C++ Express uh, edition, uh, that's why that's what I use, and it's working perfectly Converting the Alien Swarm project uh, to 2010 will lead in the Yeah, uh, this is just... Uh, I've tried to make uh, an make Alien Swarm mod, but it didn't work for me, so... I don't know why. It didn't uh, want to compile the solutions, so... Um, you could probably uh, open it with some other uh, Visual Studio compiler. Uh, so here we go. Uh, let's just start with uh, fixing all the bugs with the compiler for source. So um, yeah, we want to open that, and let's just see. Yeah, you want to check if you have the service pack for Windows. Uh, I have it already. What uh, was I going to do? Oh yeah, um, here we go. Let's just open this and go to solution, I think, properties, uh, configuration. Uh, let me just, <laughs> let me just look through this. Um, going to go into client and oh, I didn't make any changes so uh, let's just open both of them properties configuration general and uh, I think this is where we need to uh, change some stuff uh, let let me just pause while I'm figuring that out. Okay, so then you would go into uh, what was it again? <laughs> no, just kidding. You would want to go into debugging and then go to this target path and browse, and then you would want to go into your just have a source for my Steam apps uh, and my username, and then we have the source SDK base 2011. There we have the Ages 2 XE. So open that, and there we have that. And then you would want to go 
here and just actually copy this most of it steam apps uh, steam apps and then um, sword source mods and then what would you call uh, Half-Life Mod Learn Half-Life Mod Learn Okay, so that is the, the thing about Yes go into here, there, and the Half-Life mod learn, yeah, just copy this, actually, no, just select this folder, actually, I think we got the right folder now, yeah, um, this is kind of weird, uh, don't really need that, I think, this copy since it is the same folder there we go that seems better steam steam apps source mods and your source mod name and press apply and then you go to linker and input and uh, I think what it said in is uh, here we see uh, this. You would want to go into linger and input. Copy this. Um, yeah, so go back into this, and there we go. Paste it there. It's actually just added a D on the end, and that should do um, something <laughs> that will fix it. So uh, I also also a comma line. Um, oh yeah, right. Uh, let me just fix that. 